Over the course of history, mankind has evolved and developed into an advanced civilization. Much of this is all thanks to engineering. Engineering has long existed since the dawn of humanity, from when early humans devised fundamental tools. The concept of engineering was a product of the natural human instinct to survive, improve its ability to reproduce, and thrive. The building of key structures, such as bridges and pipe systems, are examples of human innovation brought by engineering, and are clear indications for societal progress. The Roman aqueducts, for instance, were constructed to supply cities with water. Over time, engineers came to create more innovations which helped improve the lives of people. Today, the impact of engineers continues to be significant in nearly every aspect of our lives. It is hard to imagine living in a world without engineers. Since its conception, engineering has developed into a field of application of science and technologies to design new solutions for the well-being of society. The engineering branch can be divided into four main disciplines, chemical, civil, electrical, and mechanical. Each of these engineering disciplines has its own influence in the industry. For example, mechanical engineering is focused on the design of machineries while civil engineering is concerned with the improvement of public infrastructures. The rise of new engineering disciplines is a result of innovations in technologies. For instance, the invention of the steam engine in the 17th century was a key engineering milestone, which introduced large-scale manufacturing, and gave rise to chemical engineering. Scientific discoveries such as the use of electrical energy gave rise to electrical engineering. Today, these engineering fields continue to grow and interconnect with each other. Engineering definitely has a huge impact on economies worldwide. The world's leading economies all have strong engineering-based industries, such as manufacturing, electronics, and technology. It has been said that no country has ever become an economic powerhouse without a strong industrial sector. For example, the global manufacturing industry is estimated to be worth $10 trillion. 55% of this output is shared by global economic powerhouses, China, the United States, Japan, and Germany. The global technology market is also a rapidly growing sector. The leaders in this field are the big tech companies that we all know, Google, Microsoft, Apple. The market is worth around $3 trillion and is experiencing constant growth. In the Philippines, Industry is a major driver of economic growth. Industry accounts for 34% of the Philippines' GDP. In the third quarter of 2017, manufacturing posted a 10.1% growth rate. The Philippines is a major exporter of semiconductor and electronics products. Of the country's $68.7 billion worth of exports last year, electronics accounts for 59% of this output. The country is also an exporter of chemical products, valued at $3.5 billion in 2015, with an average annual growth of 17% over the past five years. There is undeniably so much potential in engineering in the economy. The engineering field also faces some societal issues. In 2017, out of 200,000 engineering graduates in over 300 schools all around the United States, females make up only 22.8%, up 2% from 2008. In the United States, only 14% of engineers are females. This figure drops to 11% in the United Kingdom. But why is this the case? Back then, Society has emphasized masculine force in almost every field, deeming feminine force insignificant. It was not until the late 20th century when feminism became a movement for the inclusion of women. 
Males dominate the workforce because their physical characteristics are preferred for heavy workload than those of females. Psychologically, males tend to have stronger interest in scientific, technical, and mechanical activities than females. Females have a stronger interest in social and artistic activities than males. This creates a social stigma affecting the inclusion of females in the workforce up to this day. Today, progress has been observed regarding the issue. One cannot deny the positive contributions of females to the economy. In the United States for instance, the 11% increase in the employment of females from 1970 to 2009 has contributed to 25% of the national economy, ultimately increasing GDP. Every day, a large portion of the population is at the mercy of a rising technology, yet few actually understand what it is. Artificial Intelligence Artificial intelligence uses techniques that help machines and computers mimic human behavior. It's like a Russian nesting doll. Artificial intelligence, at the highest level, is the machine being smart. How it becomes smart then becomes the next layer called machine learning, which are the general techniques and practices used to make that machine smart. And then there is a further subset of artificial intelligence called, deep learning. For example, if a car has intelligence built in, looking at what's on the road, as the driver, and being able to anticipate and course correct when something goes wrong, autonomous vehicles of any kind, will not be autonomous without artificial intelligence. In the medical field, new treatments will come from the analysis of various data, to detect and cure cancers, and other diseases. Thanks to books and movies, each generation has formed its own fantasy of a world ruled or at least served by robots. We've been conditioned to expect flying cars that steer clear of traffic and robotic maids that take care of our needs. Today, machines are smart because of AI. But AI still has a dependency on us, people. We're making it possible. The next phase is when artificial intelligence is able to work on its own. So, if we do our jobs right, and if artificial intelligence is done right, the actual implementation is transparent to the consumer. But what they end up is, devices in their world that are more than utilities, they're actually experiential, and they'll make your life easier, more exciting. A truly transformational technology. But did you ever think of what will happen, if we lost control? To summarize, over the course of history, and despite the issues faced, engineering has gone through so much development to positively impact the economy and society, and pave the way for the future. Please press the like button if you enjoyed the video, and leave your thoughts on the comments. Thanks for watching.